A few months ago, I posted a video in which I explained how you could request your information from Instagram and use that information to compare who follows you now and who no longer follows you. And you can have a look at those lists and determine if anybody's unfollowed you, etc. And in truth, that's not unusual because people do unfollow accounts and as they unfollow me, as they may well unfollow you. And, and there's of very valid reasons for doing that because they might follow you but for a specific reason or a specific genre of photography that you're doing and you may not l do that anymore and obviously that person might not be interested in your cat pictures as an example but you also get those accounts that follow you and you reciprocate you feel obliged and you follow them back only to find within days or a week they've unfollowed you and they do this to increase their account numbers and reduce the people that they're following because they feel good about that. And that's great if they do, but obviously it's not what you and I want. And I've even seen somebody actually, or more than one, people that have sort of followed me and then all of a sudden delete all of the accounts that they follow. And if anything, I feel that's a bit rude, really. And that, that shouldn't be the case. If you're going to follow somebody you should follow them for some length of time, at least be interested in their account. And as I said, eventually you may not want to follow them anymore and you unfollow them and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just this rudeness that people think they can get away with following you within minutes on following you. So I explained how to do that in that video and since I posted that video, I've had thousands of hits, thousands of views and I've got a recurring theme where people have commented asking me if I can do a step-by-step -step guide on what to do with the data. Because all I effectively did was show you how to get the data and left it up to you to actually do something with that data. So I feel that I really need to follow Talpa and show you exactly how I, using Excel, can compare the two lists and then decide if I want to do anything with those accounts that have sort of unfollowed me. And what I'll do now on my computer is go through that process with you. Bear in mind, I'm not an Excel. Bear in mind, I'm not an Excel expert. Or isn't I just use it in the way that I know how? And there's probably a much more efficient way. And in fact, if you're good at scripting, you could probably write a script that would do this in seconds, and not the laborious way that I do it. But I'll go through my process now. And if you want to follow along, you can. And I'll try to be make it as step by step as I possibly can so it makes it easy for you to follow. Let's have a look now. So here I am on my computer and only about three hours ago I went onto Instagram and requested my data from Instagram. If you want to know how to do that then have a look at my video from two or three months ago and I'll put a link in the description below anyway but you can have a look at that video and it explains exactly how to do it. But I'm on my computer now and I'm on my emails and I've received my email from Instagram. Your meta information download is ready. So I'm just going to double click that and it takes me into this page and it says download your information. So I click on that and it takes me to this download page. And then I just click on this is the download that I've just requested for these dates and I'm just going to say download. It needs me to put my password in and I'll just do that now. Continue. And there it is. It's downloaded that information up there on my computer. So I'm going to just open this file to have a look at it. And there we have two different files, connections and file. I'm going to double click connections and in connections, I've got followers and following. So I'm going to double click that and then all I'm interested in is followers and following. So I'm going to click those and I'm going to copy those files and I'm going to put them on a drive on my computer. So I'll just do that now and we'll come back or not. So here are the two files that I've just copied to my computer. So I've got followers and following. So they're two big, two different sizes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load Excel and we're going to open those two files in Microsoft Excel. Here's Microsoft Excel and I'm going to open those files one at a time. So I'm going to browse 
and then I'm going to go to my files that I've just downloaded and there they are so I'm going to open the first one which is the people that follow me followers so I've double clicked that file and it's going to open Excel so that's the first one so I'll enable editing so that I can edit this file and the first thing I do on this file because I liked it to be nice and clean is I'll just um, going to delete these first three rows because I don't want those they're boring and I'm going to delete that picture first thing I do on this this document so then I will then do data and put a filter on it so I'll, I've put this filter on uh, I think I put a filter on at least I'm going to do it again take the filter off put the filter on there and so what I'm going to do is filter out all of the stuff that I don't need first so it's a bit of a task this but if I filter by color and I want to filter all the black color because that's just it so I can filter all that I'll highlight that first row and then go right to the bottom right to the bottom of this data all 20,000 lines of it. it doesn't take very long just a few minutes and it will go right down to that I'm just going to simply right click and I'm going to delete row so it deletes as yet yeah, delete the whole lot might take a second on your computer it might take a little bit longer it depends how fast your computer is mine isn't particularly new but it's it's fast enough so then if I then select all I've got a nice long list now of potentially how many people I said it was 20,000 I was probably a bit exaggerating there so I've got since 2015 it's probably half that amount nearly 10,000 people on on this list that, that follow me actually they're all my followers of course the so 9,883 followers I've got now. I did have 12,000, but lots of people dropped, dropped off. But in truth, I'm not bothered these days about numbers. I used to be quite keen on numbers, but it's something that I'm not bothered with. So that's the list of people I've got there, my followers. There, these are the people that follow me. I've got to do exactly the same thing. I open the file for people that I follow. So I'm going to open that file and browse my computer and open that file that people that I'm following. And that there it is, exactly the same process. Enable editing. I delete these first three rows because I don't think they're necessary. I delete the picture because that's not important. I put a filter. Once again, I filter this column. So data, filter. And then I just filter, filter by color. And then my first thing is I'll filter all the black lines. Uh, so I'll highlight all these black lines. Once again, I just hit shift and page down and it pages the, right down to the 6,000 odd or whatever, how many there is here. So all those, so I'm just going to delete all those rows and they're, they're gone. So all that's left now is the title, this thing here, which I'll delete that. It's, that's boring. So I've got all of these um, six for 4,000, 5,000 people that I follow. So now what I'm going to do with this information, I'm going to copy this. So I'd select these files uh, and I select them all one at a time, just like this, and I'll copy these, copy these files. So then what I will do, I'll go to my other Excel spreadsheet and I will go to the bottom of this spreadsheet and I will find the like that's out there and I'll paste the following and the followers so I've got all these here of people I'm following and all at 9,000 above are the people that follow me so that's my big long list so what I'm going to do is take the filter off and I'm going to put the filter back on so it hopefully filters the whole lot so now once I've done that I need to work find a way of determining what's uh uh, how could I compare the two? So I've got, so it's simple as click on home, conditional formatting, highlight cells and highlight du duplicate values. So that's going to highlight all of the duplicate values and all the duplicates are the people that follow me and I follow them back. So I'm, that's fine. They're great. But they're, I've also got some people that I don't follow that follow me and you also get lots of people that do that. So what I now do, I'll highlight, um, I'll filter out only and show only those cells where I don't have a match. They're the people that won't follow me back. I hope, you, I hope you're understanding what I'm doing here. So this shows all, these are all the people that 
follow me, but I don't follow them. So as you can see, all this, all these people here, as there's, there's a, I don't follow a lot of accounts. So I've got to scroll right down to the point where, uh, about here, I think it's somewhere where I can find all those accounts. So from here, so these are all the people that I'm following. Don't follow me back. So as you can see, I can. There's lots. So I've, how many? How many are? Actually, it's not that many. So there's there's only forty seven accounts that 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 uh, I follow, and they don't follow me back. That's all I've got. So you might have many more. Now let's have a look see what to do with these accounts. So as you can see here, I've got accounts like Typo UK, Pettits, O2, uh, Chelsea Football Club, National Rail, all sorts of different things because I quite often enter these competitions where you have to follow the competition, um, the, the, the competition account and that's why I've got quite a few of these. But I've also got a few people that have probably... That may may or may not have unfollowed me. There's not too many in truth. Let's have a look see if we can find any. So there's one here, which is like Imi Hearn. So what I'll do, I'll click on this and it will load up Instagram and it will take me straight to that account. So I'll click on that. It's loaded up Instagram on uh, on my browser. And this is a, a an account where we've got, um, obviously, a, a, a lady called Imi who's based in the UK and... If what I now do, these are the people that follow her and these are the people she's following. So I can click, I always do this, I click on to see who she's following. Uh, but I, I would naturally come at the top of this list. But I'm not on that list, so I can tell this lady is not following me. So I could now click on following and unfollow her and then we're both together, neither of us follow each other. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click on this nice picture that she posted, posted one day ago. Look, this is in New Key. Lovely place. In fact, there's more than one picture. Uh, and I like that. So I'm going to give that a like. So that's this lady's going to get a like from me, even though she doesn't follow me back. But I particularly like that. So I'm going to keep that. So then I would go back to my list and I will find another one that looks like it could be a an individual user and not one of these companies. And... Uh, we can go down. So I'm just trying to find one that is James Patterson, Adam James Patterson. These people um, n may not have necessarily unfollowed me. I might have just followed them and they just haven't followed me back and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. So James Patterson, he's got 11,000 followers. He's only following 799. I think James has recently followed me. I followed him back out of reciprocation and he may well have unfollowed me. So uh, let's have a look to see if he has, just to prove that that worked. It has, he's unfollowed me. So the, James could be a good candidate for me, somebody that I could be annoyed with. I'm not saying I am, but I could be annoyed with. And in this instance, I will uh, unfollow James. Simple as that, and I've unfollowed him and now neither of us follow each other. So, and that's not a problem at all whatsoever. So that's exactly it. That's how I do it. And that's how simple it is to easily see who's followed you and unfollowed you. I know it's a little bit painful doing the spreadsheet, but once you get into the routine, once you understand how to do it, it's really quite simple. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you found this interesting and I hope you found this guide useful to you and you are able to follow it. If you like this video, why not give it a like? That would really help me. And if you like this Instagram stuff that I'm trying to create, that I'm trying to post, then why not follow along and subscribe to the channel? That would be awesome if you did that. Uh, thank you very much again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.